What are you doing? We are playing chess. Yeah, what he said. Monologue? How can you be playing my monologue? He's me. I do get breaks, you know. I'm not always monologuing you. And how is it clone one knows how to play chess? Well, you know how to play and I'm the clone of you. This house is getting stranger by the day. <sighs> I think I need to do something about Clone One. Wait a minute. Are you supposed to be looking after the tiger? Uh, Mother took over. She took it outside in the garden with her. The tiger does seem more happier out there though. Fair enough. Maybe she'll come up with a name for it as well. Seeing as you Smeggies have only come up with a few suggestions like Pussy Galore and Starfish. Although, I'm thinking Chuckles might suit her. We'll see. Oh, and for those of you who care, Percy's fine. You know, Percy, the new troll that followed Fred home from the troll hospital. Ooh. The tiger didn't eat him. I got him out just in time. Fwed, can you find some things out about him while I vlog? I can't understand any of his mumbles. Oh, sir, like I have nothing better to do. Want me to wash your car too? I don't know if you're aware, but Doctor Who is about to return, and I love this incarnation of the character. And Amy Pond is the best companion ever. However, I want to talk to you about the spin-off series, Torchwood. It started off good. But the last series, Children of Earth, seemed a little slow and dull to me. And now with Captain Jack Harkness away from Earth, you'd think the series has ended. Not so. Through the magical powers of Twitter, I discovered Torchwood is coming back. But then I started to get worried when I saw who was tweeting about it. Jane S. Benson. Who? She was a brilliant writer and producer on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She tweeted that she was in the middle of writing for Torchwood, which set off my alarm bells. Was the series being remade for America like so many other shows? So, I tweeted her, not really expecting a reply. But, I got one. Original team, John Barrowman, Eve Miles, and original creator and producers plus some US extras. It's almost like I interviewed someone famous. I have to say, after reading that, I'm now looking forward to this new series. Okay, I've talked to Percy. And? He won't tell me much, just that he would rather forget his past and concentrate on the future. And that he would like to stay with us. Well, he has to give me something. I can't just say, OK, move in with us. And you want me to ask him? Oh, the joy. I've been reading about DC Comics executives planning on bringing the Justice League of America to the big screen in 2013. But they've also said that they'd need to reinvent Batman. Again. Why? 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 Chris Nolan has done an amazing job with Batman and they should really keep that tone of the franchise going. That's the trouble with DC. When it comes to the comic books, they all interact with each other, do all these crossovers and have the characters go into other characters' books beautifully and easily. But when it comes to TV or films, the producers, they just go off and do what they want individually. Seriously, they all need slapping. Did you hear in the news this week that Jackie Chan's died? What? Don't worry, it was a false story from some idiot reporter. It's been rectified on Facebook. In this day and age it's pretty much difficult to make wrong reports and false accusations. Because of the internet, it can be quickly sorted. Or played on. Step up Charlie Sheen. Percy tells me that he was caught up in an explosion that gave him all those injuries and that he now wants to just live a peaceful life. It's all he said. How did you get to know him? Our hospital beds were side by side and we were watching the same TV programs. Seems whenever I hate something, he likes it. Well, maybe there's hope for him yet. Okay, Percy, you can stay for a while at least. And with that, Percy became a member of the family. Monologue.
Go play with Clone One again. I would, but he is eating butter out of the fridge. <sighs> Great. I think that clone's getting more stupid by the day. I better go sort him out. Peace out. They can tie it there, over there. I've been reading about DC Comics executives planning on bringing the Justice League of America to the... the, the yeah, my, Pass it! <laughs> I've been reading about DC Comics executives... Percy tells me that he was caught up in an explosion that gave him all those injuries. And now that he wants to just live a peaceful... Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!